In this video, we will present our video event reconstruction and analysis system, the VERA system, for shooter localization using social media videos. Videos from social media usually don't have any metadata like GPS and time. To localize the shooter, we need to put all relevant videos in a global timeline first. By combining automatic video synchronization with manual verification, we are able to reconstruct the timeline of Las Vegas shooting using a few social media videos. For each video, we can estimate the distance of the shooter to the camera if the bullet is supersonic, and both the bullet shockwave sound and the muscle blast sound are recorded. The muscle blast sound meaning the sound when the bullet leaves the muscle of the gun. You can go to our website and check out our technical report for more details. Here is an animation of how we hear two sounds. As you can see, the shockwave will arrive at the camera first, and then the muscle blast sound. The time difference of the two sounds reaching the camera can be used to compute the distance. In our interface, we utilize automatic gunshot detection, and the user can mark the muzzle blast sound and shockwave sound in the interface. Here is the shockwave sound. Listen to it carefully, which is very distinct crack. And this is the muzzle blast sound, which is harder to hear. Let's hear that again. The distance can be estimated based on the time difference of the bullet shockwave sound and the muscle blast sound. Bullet speed and speed of the sound will also be needed. Since the bullet and sound speed are estimated, we have a range of possible distance. Hence, a donut can be placed place around the camera indicating all the possible locations. Here you can see a donut shape um, estimation. Now that we know the distance of the shooter, but we don't know which direction the shooter is shooting from, we use another method for estimating shooter direction. To estimate the direction of the shooter, we need a pair of synchronized videos, both recording uh, the muscle blast sound of the gunshot, and we also need accurate camera locations. We make use of the time difference of the arrival of the muzzle blast sound at the two camera. Three hyperbolic lines can be drawn, uh, indicating the most likely locations and the error margins. The shooter is located within the three lines, where the middle green one is most likely. As you can see here, there are three hyperbolic lines, and the green one is the most likely shooter location. So we can combine these two methods, and the overlapping area is the most likely location of the shooter. And at the, interf at the web interface, we ask the user to put the camera on the map first. We use the method, the first method, to estimate shooter distance for each camera. And then we use the second method to estimate the direction for each pair of the camera. As you can see here, we have three pair of cameras. All of them point to the same location. And by overlapping both method and all the estimation, you can see there's a clear overlapping area of the shooter location. Here's a demonstration on the web interface. Here we show the donut area estimation. This is the hyperbola direction estimation. And on the interface, we can utilize the Google Map interface where we can see from uh, 
satellite view and also 45 degree view. Thanks for watching.